a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, sin must not reign over your mortal bodies so that obey their desires. And do not present the parts of your bodies to sin as weapons for wickedness, but present yourselves to God as raised from the dead to life and the parts of your bodies to God as weapons for righteousness. For sin is not to have any power over you, since you are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? Of course not. Do you not know that if you present yourselves to someone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? But thanks be to God that, although you were once slaves of sin, you have become obedient from the heart to the pattern of teaching to which you were entrusted. Freed from sin, you have become slaves of righteousness. The word of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Had not the Lord been with us, let Israel say, had not the Lord been with us. When men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive, when their fury was inflamed against us. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us. The torrents would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord, who did not leave us to pray to their feet. We were rescued like a bird from the foulest snare. Broken was the snare, and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made the earth and the heaven. The word of God is coming again, let the people sing, hallelujah. The word of God is coming again, let the people sing, hallelujah. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Sing hallelujah, sing, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing, sing hallelujah, hallelujah, let the people sing hallelujah, sing, sing hallelujah, sing, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing, sing hallelujah. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have left his house to be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent steward, whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance of the proper time? 
Blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish the servant severely and assign a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will but did not make preparations nor act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely. And the servant who was ignorant of his master's will but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Many ways, perhaps if Jesus were to come, some of us would receive some lashes because in sincerity, we haven't really been so responsible as God requires of us. So the first part of the gospel reading is fundamentally about the fact that there will be an end to our lives. And when that end comes, we are required to give an account of the talents, the gifts, and all the good things that God has given us. And it requires some degree of preparedness, some level of being awake. To be awake means that you are conscious of your responsibilities and duties, and you carry them out as such. So... That is more in terms of a judgment that will be passed or dance. The second part that flows from there is about our own sense of duty, talents, and responsibilities daily. If you listen to the gospel reading, the second part talks about a man who goes away and trusted responsibility to some leaders, and then he comes and then the leaders have messed up. They haven't lived up to expectation. There was the relation of duty and responsibility. So he says those people, they will be given some kind of license. That is just to say that they will be recalled and assigned to a place lower than they were. But in addition to that, which I like so much, is that when a man or a woman is given more, more will be expected of him or her. And all of us have been given more. God has given us a lot that we can use to better the lot of our society. But we are unable to do that because of what has happened to the man. That there is the relation of duty where we engage in things that are not in harmony with our calling, our responsibilities and duties. And indeed, there are people who have lost positions out of irresponsibility. There are people who are not having any form of social mobility in their duties because they are not responsible. There are people who have misused the talents that are in their hands and so they are no longer worthwhile. So there are many ways in which this gospel speaks to all of us. And for me, basically, it is about the talents God has given us and how we can use that responsibly to better the lot of our society and ourselves. Let us pray this morning that the Lord may guide all of us to come to discover the good that is in us and to use that good to better the lot of our society and ourselves. Let us now rise and bring our needs and intentions to the Lord.
Let us pray for our leaders in the church, to whom much is given and much is expected, that they may be faithful and far-sighted stewards in God's household. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are allowing sin to rule in their bodies and minds, that they may become vividly aware of where this is leading them and submit instead to the gentle yoke of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who feel overwhelmed by the torrent of affliction or caught in the trap of helplessness, that through the grace of this holy sacrifice, the snare may be broken and they may be freed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our loved ones who have passed from this world, who came under the law of grace by their obedience to God, that they may now pass from death to life in his glorious kingdom. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us in silence bring our needs and intentions to the Lord, asking him to strengthen us, come to know that which is good in us, grant us his grace to be able to use that. Father of all goodness and kindness, we thank you for the grace to bring our needs and intentions to you this morning. We are asking that you may grant them according to your will for us, and we make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 